Finally! <sighs> well, you guys get to hear this disgusting voice today, because I'm ill. What the hell? I, I don't even know what I did. I don't even know what I did. I think I just changed the track number. Or so, I don't even know. I've never done that before. I, yeah, I am so sick. I'm sorry, guys. All that waiting around for nothing, because my voice is awful. I've got COVID. I'm ill, but I still wanted to stream today. Oh, my God. I am so sorry about that. I have no idea what was going on. Oh, my God. Yeah, COVID sucks. This is the second time I've had COVID. Um, luckily, the, the symptoms aren't that bad. The only... is For some reason, it's targeted my throat. I have no idea, like... I have a sore throat, and it's, like, taking away my voice. Other than that, I feel absolutely fine. So that's why I'm able to stream, because I don't feel ill. I just sound ill, if that makes any sense. But, um, anyway, yes. I was basically going to do a 12-hour stream today. I've had this planned and scheduled for a couple of days when I felt fine. But, yeah, I woke up this morning, and I literally couldn't speak. For like two hours, I couldn't even get a word out. So I was like, I, that's not going to work. We can't do a 12-hour stream today. But then as the hours went on, my voice started coming back. I felt fine. So I was, I was like, let's just still do a stream. But we'll just have a few hours today. Just a, a little one. And then we'll do the 12 hours hopefully next week if I have my voice back. So yeah, that is the plan. We are on this uh, save file that I created in the last 12-hour stream. I'm trying to get 100% perfection, but it's on hard mode. So we've got the Hilltop Farm, 50% profit margin, so it's super hard to make money. We are, we've are we got monsters spawning on the farm at night time. All the bundles are remixed. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. That's all you can do in Stardew Valley to get hard settings. But we've got 26,000 gold earnings and only 203 current. It's so hard to make money. A dog's called Spud. And does anybody know Smurf Bob Ross? Let me know if you know where he comes from. The only thing I've changed is the character. I've just created a different character. I wasn't really happy with the one that we had before. But if you know Smurf, Smurf Bob Ross, you are a legend. If not, I'll explain if not. I've already had some hot tea. I've had lemon tea. I've had honey tea. I've tried everything all day today to get this voice good. I've had throat sweets. Oh, I've done everything, guys. What's the, is the music too loud? Let me know if the music's too loud and we can change it if, if needed. But yeah, basically, I just I just feel like playing Stardew Valley today. Uh, just in that mood, you know, a little bit ill, run down. I was like, let's just chill to some music. Oh, you can't even... Oh, yeah, maybe you can't hear the music, actually. Let me know if you can hear that. Can you hear the game sound as well? Can you hear like the watering? Or is it just the music that you can't hear, guys? Maybe I've done something. <laughs> I fixed the mic, but everything else is broke. Oh, you can't hear. No oh. Oh, so we have broke it. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, crap. So, that works. Do you hear it now? Can you hear that? Oh! There we go. <laughs> Is it too loud? I've just got a random Stardew Valley sound soundtrack on. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the spooky one right now. I think it's the Junimo car. Let's have a look. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, is that okay? Not too much. Perfect. There we go. I think I fixed all this. Oh, my God. This is... You can tell I've not streamed in a long time, guys. A little bit loud. What about that? I'm rusty. It's been it's been quite a long time. Yeah, here we go. 
god streaming it's not it's not easy guys nice we are all over the place but you know what we here we're here we are here I'm ill so I, I don't really care you know it's gonna be rough it's gonna be rough it is what it is uh, Nicole thank you so much for 34 months that is absolutely incredible I just can't even get over it and Alyssa with the 12 months as well Wow thank you so much for the support I don't know why you guys keep coming back to this horrible voice, but you know, I truly appreciate it. Yeah, we've got it working. We've got a sound. Oh, thank God for that. That took some time. 30 minutes. It was strange because I could actually see all the, the audio working. So for me, I, I had no idea. Heavy girls will love ya. There we go. So let's just have a chill time, shall we? Let's just relax. Also, who remembers in the last 12 hour stream where we created this farm? Oh, we can, can we chop this axe? I don't think we can chop that down yet. But yeah, we've got the slime. This slime spawned on the farm. Bear in mind, they only meant to appear at night time um, and then disappear in the morning. But this slime, for some reason, just stayed around. He never died. And we called him Flubber. We called him Flubber. And yeah, he's our pet. He's going to be our best friend. We're going to cherish him and look after him forever. He's never going to die, okay? Kevin with the five gifted. Wow, thank you so much. That is very, very kind of you. And to everyone who had one of those, enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, you remember Flubber? You remember Flubber. What a legend. Where is my axe? We need to upgrade, upgrade it, and then we'll chop those down. I don't even know where to begin. We've got the people to speak to. We have got our skill levels. Level 8 fishing, wow. It's just so hard to make money, though. Yeah, Flubber was a legend. Let's get some uh, iron smelted. Let's check this. Dr. Harvey. Oh, did I pass out? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I remember. In the last 12-hour stream, we did a, a member fun. And the last goal was to go to the mines after a full day and pass out on purpose. And we died. We died in the mines. I don't know what we lost. I completely forgot. We can only just get out of the farm here. This is a mess. Are you planning to play Coral Island again since it's fully released? I've been playing quite a lot on the Xbox, to be honest, in my own time. I started a brand new save file and I'm quite addicted. But I've not done a video on it for a while. I don't know if I should or not. God, my voice sounds terrible. I don't even know why I'm looking here because we can't afford anything, so... Yeah. What summer fish do we need to still get probably everything? We need to get the pike. We need the Dorado, I think. Or did I get that? No, we got the Dorado. We got the Dorado. Alright, let's get some summer fish. There's the rainbow trout here as well. Is this the Junimo cart song? Yeah, the axe may be getting upgraded, to be honest. That's a good shout. It may be there. If I'm right, it actually is. Sunfish. Just trying to catch the summerfish for the collection. The mod that I'm using to change the, the way the items look, I think it's just called um, Vanilla Tweaks. So it just changes the way the vanilla items look. Just gives them a bit of a, a bigger, fresher, sharper feel to them. I love them. I, I can never go back. It's my favourite. So there is the pike. No, that was the Dorado, sorry. We need the pike. 
Hi Sharky, love your competitive Stardew Valley series with Pox. Feel better soon. Thank you very much, Grey. Grey Lynn? Yeah, me and Pox, uh, obviously, currently, a little information, a little sneak peek. We are recording season three. It is undergo. And it's, it's incredible, guys. It is incredible. First episode, I believe, on my channel will be released sometime in Feb. Um, and Pox, well, we're going to plan to end it around April or May. That's when Pox's video is going to go. So quite a way off, but you'll see two episodes per week on my channel from my POV. And if you want to wait for the, the big video on Pox, sadly, it's going to be about April time. But it's always worth it. But yeah, we are we are competing again for the finale, the trilogy. I think it's going to be the last one. We are currently 1-1. One, one. So someone needs to win. And it is absolutely crazy. It's a little bit more simplified and reined in a little bit compared to Season 2. Kind of going back to the basics. It's almost like Season 1 and 2 combined, if that makes any sense. But again, it's not just about making money. There's there's a few challenges we've got to do, and uh, Pox was in charge of this one. I gave him full power to kind of do what he wanted with season three. So yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So we have got a lot of the summerfish there. Do you know what we don't have? The sunfish. Yeah, we do. I lied. Let's go to the ocean. I kind of messed up. We've kind of messed up with the stream at the start. We've like three times starting a stream. So there's probably a lot of people who got fed up. Or got confused. We had a rough start, but we're here. How far along are you? We are... I think... We have just got to summer in the recordings, yeah, so spring's done. Ooh, dried starfish. We, we've already done. We've got it. Okay. Oh, there's the puffer fish. Look at all the fish here that we can get. Oh, our adventure's full. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I wish they added a shark to this game as well. Imagine, 1.6 update, we get a shark. Oh, that would be incredible. Where can you find the mods? Laura, I'm literally using, I think, four different mods. I can probably tell you what they are. There is the UI Info Suite mod, which, yeah, it's quite handy. Just shows you a little information uh, on the UI. There is the vanilla... What's it called? I forgot what it's called now. I've just told you what it is. The vanilla sprites. I think it's called better vanilla or something like that. That changes all of the, the items. And what else have we got? I think we've got the vis visible fish mod where the fish are visible. And I think, and dynamic reflections and that's about it. That is about it. I do have a, a tutorial on mods, but that is so old. That was like four years ago. So you can type, like, Sharky, how to install mods or something like that. It might pop up. But there's probably better videos, more recent, up-to-date. It's quite simple, guys. Very easy to put mods into Stardew. It's so old, the one I made. But I'm not using many mods on this one, it's more just visual, handy mods. We're going to put some things in the shipping bin and we also need to keep an eye out for the community, community centre because we are doing all the bundles. So animals, yeah, full crops, right, summer crops, we need one of everything, okay. Let's check on the fish, tiger trout, all of those. Look how better the fish look, by the way. They look so good. Okay, we need all the ocean. And these are summer as well. I think all of these are summer, so... 
Sturgeon as well. Oh, we could do those. We could do those. So let me... We don't need the Dorado. It does tell you if you need them. So like you see, the chub here, it says we need it for field research. Let's have a look at the chest. All the mermaid songs on. Very nice. Oh yeah, we've already got the chub here, look. There's so much we can donate already, actually. Okay, nice. So, we could probably sell all of these then. Do we need two chubs? I hope we don't need two. I don't know if we do. Boiler room, treasure hunter, we've got the blacksmith bundle, the adventures, adventurers, chef, yeah, field research, that's the one that we need. Sometimes I thought you yeah, there's another bundle that requires a chub, but I forgot. But I think we only need one, so we'll sell all this. Yes, Roy, this is the one that we started a few months ago, so this is technically part two. If you want to see the first one, it was a 12-hour live stream. Twelve hours, guys, and we only got to summer. Is that not crazy? My god. I thought we'd have made so much more progress. Right, what we're going to do is we'll put that away. Put that away. We'll go and do some nighttime fishing in the ocean. Did we play other games on that stream? Oh. Did we? Oh, maybe we did. What did we play? Did we play Coral Island? I can't remember, actually. It was a while ago. But we are going to be streaming, guys, every Saturday from now on. So, every Saturday, we are going to be doing a stream of this series, this playthrough here. This perfection hard mode farm. So yeah, we're going to make progress all year long, every Saturday, and see if we can get to 100%. I will never stop until we do it, alright? Every Saturday. I've never done this before, since I've been a YouTuber. <laughs> I've never streamed, like, every week. But I've made it my New Year's thing. I did say, when I get to 2024, I want to stream more. And I think once a week would be really good, to be honest. So we're going to stick to it. Look, I'm ill. I am ill, but I'm still here today. Saturday. I've got a stream for you guys. And next Saturday, a week today, is going to be 12 hours. If my voice is still okay. It's already hurting me right now. I've only been speaking for like 20 minutes. Jesus Christ. There's no way I could have spoke for 12 hours. It's impossible. Have some water. So, I might not talk as much today. There might be periods where I go a bit quiet. But that's just because I'm resting my voice, guys. I don't want to fully lose it. But I'm hoping we can get a good 3-4 hour stream today, hopefully. I want to make some good progress. Um, Nix, I have currently got COVID for the people who have just joined. So, that's why my voice is like this. I'm doing well. I'm, I think I'm on the back end of COVID. I had it on Monday, is when I first tested positive. And then I tested yesterday and it was very faint. So I think I'm on the end of it, but for some reason, it targeted my throat. Um, yeah. Other than that, I feel, I feel absolutely fine. Yeah, I've just had a nice hot tea before I started to soothe the throat. It was quite nice. My second time I had COVID. This is the second time I've had COVID. 
And I went so long avoiding it the first time. Ooh. Super cucumber? Or is it the octopus? Ooh, you little bugger. I've not fished in a while. Ooh! Yeah, we got him. It's a super cucumber. I think that's the one we needed. Um, yeah, the first time I got COVID was actually last year. So I went a solid two years without getting it. The mod that makes you see the icons under the funds is the UI Info Suite mod. I believe you have to get the unofficial version. It is not on Smappy. It's called UI Info Suite 2. And if you type it in, there is like um, a website where you can get the unofficial version. Because I think the official version is still not compatible with this update. Now oh, there's another one. That was so much easier. So what did we... Flounder. Yeah, we missed out on the tilapia. Still need the tuna, but I think they're daytime fish, so... I will carry on fishing, because we need the money. This is so hard to make money on this one, guys. 50% profit margin. Oh my, it's really tough. Also, guys, sorry, I'm, sometimes I might have to just mute myself randomly because I've got a little tickly cough as well. Oh, I've just missed that. And I don't want you guys to hear me coughing up my lungs. Because it's not very pleasant. It's not pleasant. It's disgusting. Chest. Oh, chest with a super cucumber. It's going to be tough. Oh, the lag. The lag. So how are you guys doing? Let me know. Has anybody else been ill? Because I know there's a lot going around at the moment. But maybe you guys have managed to dodge it. Hopefully you're not ill and you're doing well. Let me know how you feel. You gotta go. Uh, it's half past 11 at night in India. Good night. Get well soon. Thank you very much, Nix. Get some good sleep. You had the flu? Yeah, I had that too, Nicole, uh, back in December, just before Christmas, I had the flu. You never had COVID, no shots. Wow, Sophia. Oh, so Sophie? That seemed, that's incredible. Since you've been started working from home, you've never been sick, yeah. And I'm guessing you've probably not ki got kids as well. If you've got kids, we always get ill. You pick up everything, right? So if you work at home and you've not got kids, yeah, I can imagine. You never get ill. That's that's incredible. You've been around five sick people and still not sick. Oh, you must have a good immune system. Oh, look. Monsters spawn at night. I forgot about this. As long as my flubber is still alive, I don't care. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's a good boy. I need to find my axe because there's a l I'm going to clear some of this farm up tomorrow. <gasps> there's another slime. You see, now, he's not a flubber. He's not a special. I'm going to leave him here, and I bet he dies tomorrow, alright? He's not going to make it. Flubber's special is one of a kind. No kids. I, I knew it. I just knew it. We're going to pass out. Let's hurry up. Uh, we don't need the stupid cucumbers. No, no, no. Okay, we 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 good, we good. We need that money, guys. We need that money. We are so skint right now. Please. You got the flu from my son, yeah. You're a teacher and you've been sick quite a lot this year. Yeah, I imagine. Kids, man, kids. 
They're full of it, aren't they? They're like breeding grounds for bacteria and germs. It's been a rough year for me. Well, it's a new year now, obviously. I've basically been ill on and off since November, if I'm being honest. I get better and I get ill again. But look at this, 2,000 gold. Come on. That's a bit of money we need. Let's go. 50% profit margin. Oh my god, it's rough. Things just don't sell for as much as they do. Well, normally do. But I want the challenge, guys. I wanted the challenge. So let's go. You know what we should do, first of all? We definitely should go and donate some stuff to the CC. Let's get, you know, let's figure out where we are. We've got some hot peppers. I can't imagine eating one of them right now, I'll tell you that. I'll burn my throat in half. Safe, 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 baby. <laughs> alright, Spud. I'm gonna come and give you a love, alright? It's not all about you, Spuddy. Here we go. Spud army. The Spud army. Right, let's get the watering can. It's, it's really hot right now. It's summer, so let's give him a drink. Now, we've got an ancient fruit that's done. In fact, tell a lie. We got free ancient fruit. This was such a good... The last stream that we did, we found free ancient fruits. Well, ancient seeds. It was so good. Ooh. I think we found some in the mines. We got one from doing the donation. And the travel lady sold the third for 700 gold. Which is actually quite rare. So free, and we're in summer. That's so good. We need sprinklers for this. This is horrible. Yeah, I'm going to get the axe in a second. I'm just going to do the watering first. <gasps> Flubber! Oh, you're still alive. I don't, let's, let's, let's just have a look. Is the other slime alive? Guys, we've... I can't even believe it. Do you know how special and rare that Flubber is over there? You know what we should do? We should breed. We should get another slime. We should have babies. Oh, it's incredible. The other one died, look. He's gone. But Flubber just... <sighs> He's invincible. Do you hear the music and the sound? Yeah, you can hear it. Let me know if it only is turning up, guys. I can turn it up for you if you really need me to. If you want that music louder, I got you, I got you. Just tell me. Right, let's... Like I said, before... Right, we need the, the chili pepper. Before we clear the farm, I'm going to go and donate some stuff. Right, so we do need the chili pepper. We need the grape. We need... No, we've got the spice berry up there. Okay. Perfect balance. Yeah, someone just said that they couldn't hear anything other than me, so... Um... Now, I do want to sell a lot of crops because there's some achievements that we need to so it's like 15 of every crop also like sell one of everything for the collection too yeah we've not sold any forage let's just sell one of everything right let's go to the CC The axe is here. It's copper as well. Oh, nice. That's good. 
The last iron ore. That's all we've got. That's we have to go to the mines. Uh, let's put this away. And what we'll do is we'll fill our inventory. We'll go all of this. See what needs donating. We'll see what we can donate today. Got some seeds as well here. So we'll put fishing rod that away. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, come on. Oh, no space. Okay. I know it's messy right now, but once we've donated, we'll be fine. Right, let's go. We're coming! Yeah, we've got no space to pick that up. You just subscribed and you're playing Stardew on the Xbox, but I'm really bad. I'm sure you'll get better, Jenny. If you're new to it, just keep playing. You know, practice makes perfect. But thank you so much for subscribing. I really hope you enjoy your time playing Stardew Valley. It is the best game in the world. Guys, I want you to tell me what percent you are on on your Stardew Valley save. If you're going for perfection, how far are you away? Or what year are you in? Let me know. I want to see how far you guys have made it in Stardew. Right, there's the blackberry that we found. Right, we've finally done this one. Well, not finally. We had all the stuff for ages. But let's complete that bundle. You can't wait for Stardew update? Yeah, me too. It's going to be so good. You're in year two. Oh, look at this. Summer seeds. We can plant those. We'll do tea saplings. Except oh, I completely forgot about tea saplings. 70%. That's not bad. You've completed all the cooking achievement. That's really good. Year two beach farm. 40%. 40 year one. Really modded. Your first and main farms on year 36. Ooh, that's similar to me. Oh, coughing. Um, yeah, I think I'm year 42 on mine. Or maybe more. I can't remember. Let's have a look. We don't need any of this. That's going to be done. Yes, we've still got the other ones to do. Okay. Let's move forward. Full year three. Year seven. No idea what percent you are. You've never looked. I finally made it to heaven live. What is this madness? <laughs> Shante? Shant Shant Shante? I hope I pronounced that right. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm sorry that you've tuned into a stream where I am currently ill. With the worst voice ever. But, I'm still glad you're here. Regardless. Right, there's the eel. What is this song? Sardine. What is this actual song? It's the pirate theme. Oh yeah, it's the pirates in Ginger Island. Nice. Yeah, if, this, if the songs are a bit random, don't mind me guys. It's just a random playlist. You may hear so many different songs. For Stardew Valley, that is. Right, we've got none of them. There's the chub. There's the frozen geode. Okay, not bad, not bad. I've never had this bundle before. The children's bundle. Never had it. Oh, no! Oh, what an idiot. Oh, no. We've just gone by spring. And salmon berry season is gone. And I didn't keep 10. I'm sure I didn't. Oh, no. Wait, salmon berry season. It is spring. Is it spring? Oh, I'm questioning myself. It's not summer, is it? Can't be. 
So yeah, that's 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 a bummer. If, if we have missed it. Unless we've got some in storage. Yeah, that's true. Pomegranate, that's a plum. Yeah, it's spring. I don't know why I'm questioning myself. I already knew that. Like the 13th of spring? It, it, or some 15th? It begins? Something like that. Right, there is the solar essence. And, oh, 46. Oh, we can do the bats. Yes! We've just completed this bundle, the adventurers. And we've got a small magnet ring. You know what? I'll take that. Because we've got a spot right here. We've got the glow and the magnet. Woohoo! Let's go. So what's... So what... Why is the blue jazz in there? We don't even need the blue jazz. Or the tulip. What the hell are they doing in there? Exotic foraging. And we don't need... Right, okay. Yeah, we'll get the ice cream from the stand. We're in summer, so it's easy enough to do. You've not completed Ginger Island. Well, it is quite big. There is a lot to do over there. So, we've got the... So, it's the forage. Fall and exotic. That we could do. So, exotic forage. We have got the red mushroom. And we found the wild plum. Why have we not found a mushroom? We, we do go to the secret woods. Or, no, we need to upgrade the axe more. I'm thinking of another save. How interesting the rings and shoes look. Yeah, they've changed. The visuals have all changed on all the items, so... They might look a bit different to you guys. But I think that's all we can do. I don't know why I've kept all of these. We don't need them. Oh! Aquamarine. Treasure hunter. Okay, we need those. Is that in the bulletin? No, it's got to be here then. There we go. So, Amethyst, Aquamarine, Topaz. We only need two more. Oh, let's go. The Daily Grind, howdy Sharky. I hope you're having a fantastic evening, my friend. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. I'm currently ill with COVID, so my voice might sound a bit off. But other than that, I am doing very well. I'm... Really happy to be doing a stream today. I really fancy doing it, even though I'm a bit poorly. I just fancy doing it. Frozen tear. We don't need either. Okay. We need to... The dwarf scroll too? We need to donate that. So I'll give you guys another little sneak peek to... The people who watch the series with me and Pox, right? For this challenge free, I see a lot of you guys talked about Ginger Island. Well, for challenge free, me and Pox are on Ginger Island. There's things we need to do over there for the first time. And the school cavern. So yes, it's an interesting one. What do you do all day? We just snoop around in your room. <laughs> What? You'd better not be doing that. I'm j it's just a joke, Haley. Relax. Jesus Christ. She doesn't understand my banter. Right, let's do the frozen tear and this. Oh, we um We got the skeleton. Yay! We've also got the ice cream. I'll go and donate straight away. Get the ice cream. Glow Ginger Island, one day you appeared in my YouTube scroll feed. I think it was back in 2020. Saw your Stardew Valley content on your channel and been in love with this game ever since. Oh, that's awesome. 2020, wow. Yeah, four years ago. Isn't that crazy? That bundle is new, Clayton. Yeah, we've remixed the bundles in the CC, so there's some that I have never even done before. Like this children's bundle, I've never done it. But you know what? I wanted the challenge. We clearly aren't going to finish this, um... Did I just... Was that the song? Or It sounded like someone was fishing. But yeah, it's, we're clearly going to finish this CC in the second year. It's going to be super hard to get done in the first. We've already missed the salmon berries, apparently, so... Just not used to, you know, having all of 
these new items. Is it me or does Pal Pal World look too much like Pokemon? Or am I missing something? Yeah, Holly. I actually played that on the. Um, it's on Game Pass, right? I gave it a go because I do love Pokemon, but it kind of reminds me too much of Pokemon and also Zelda Breath of the Wild. They've kind of, kind of like stole Zelda. If you if you listen to it, the sound effects. I don't know, just the way it's, it's like Breath of the Wild and Pokemon together. Almost like they've just like copied and pasted a little bit. Yeah, not not a fan. Strange. Sandberries can be found in the fruit back cave. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I completely forgot about that. I have we already chose the mushroom one though? Oh no, I might have already chose the mushroom cave. I'll go and check. If we haven't, that's a great shout. That's not a bad shout. I'm going to clear the farm for a little bit. It's getting a bit messy, guys. I mean, look down here. I can't even walk. Oh, well, look at our money. 1,900. That's so bad. Right, we'll just do the wood for now. I need the wood anyway. It's Pokemon with guns. Yeah, yeah Pal World is, essentially. It's just a weird concept. You want me to turn down the music? Yeah, if it's too loud, that's no problem. Let me know if that's okay for you. I don't know how loud it is or or what. You know what we could do? I could maybe just like, get rid of that. Come in here and put on the actual game music. There's no song on right now. Obviously it's random, but when a song comes on, we'll check the sound levels. At least we're not gonna get random songs then. Throws me off. Like the desert song's coming on. And we're not even in the desert. It's, it's a bit weird. I'm running out of stamina. Hello, Flubber. How are you doing, friend? He's so cute. We need to get the Slime Charmer ring so he can never attack me. And then we'll be best friends forever. Um... So, we've got a tulip and a blue jazz. They might be good for gifts. I know Evelyn loves those. Right, we'll keep hold of that. For now, I'm going to put anything else we need in here. We can do another, like, CC run when we've got more stuff. Let's just put things away. Keep that in there. We need to sell some stuff because we do need the money. Do we need the slime and bat rings for anything? Slime and bat bat ring? Bat wing. Are they used for any I'm sure the bat wings are. Is it for the dark sign or something? I can't remember. I don't want to get rid of things if we need them for crafting. But I guess it could come in time, I don't know. We need money. We need money. Flubber is a female. Is that is Flubber actually a female? Let's get some of these summer seeds down in these gaps that we've got. Which is not many, is it? Skeleton! Oh, we should give this to Flubber. Bat wings is for the lightning rod. Ah, uh, we, sh we shouldn't have sold. We shouldn't have sold. Yeah, the ambient is a little bit loud. Is that a bit better? Right, let's let's go and put 
the skeleton like? There we go. He's got a friend. Yay. Oh, that doesn't kill him. So good. Okay, these do chop down these stumps. Nice. We just need food. We need food. Have we got anything that we can eat? We've got quite a lot of horseradish, to be fair. But I was actually... No, spring's gone. We can't craft any more spring wild seeds. So daffodils good for gifts. We can actually eat the two silver dandelions. Not many people like them, to be fair. <laughs> Shark is petting zoo, yeah. Come on, come and, t come and pay a visit. Pet the slime. $10 per pet. Let's get rich. Oh, this, I forgot. Monsters, monsters spawn at night. Oh, dear. Where's me broken trident? This will sort him out. Oh, look at that. Right, you slime. You stay away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these stumps now. Now that we've upgraded the axe, we'll get through the shortcuts. So there's, I'm going to keep this one here because that's locking him in. I need more fences, but this can finally go. We can cut straight through. Let's go. Now, there is actually another one somewhere. I think one's a stone, though, like a boulder. Yeah, that's there. And we can't get these ones yet. We need to upgrade again. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. We'll get rid of this one soon. The male slimes have the antenna. Oh, you mean in the game? I thought you meant the actual film. Yeah, it's true. This this slime that we've got is clearly female. It's not got the antenna. Let me bring my buddy because I want to pet the animals. Oh, y'all. I'm hoping another monster on the farm, like, glitches out and stays there in the morning. Because then we can make another one. I'd love one of these things. The wilderness golem. Imagine if he could stay alive. Don't die on us. He wants a bit. He's after me. Ow. Ouch. Right, you're not flubber, so see you later. You've got nothing on flubber. 76 wood? Yeah, we need more of that. We need more of that. We've got a tea leaf. Um, it's so hard to figure out where we got to in the last one. This is so confusing. Got some strawberries. I need some kegs or jars or something. But we can make some jars. We can make one, I think. We could maybe start making some strawberry jelly. The gold might be good for a gift. Uh, let's just do the five for now. Two days. Two days time. So we've got... Look at all the seeds. Look how much spring seeds we've got. So these spring seeds are for... The tea saplings. But I think we needed more fiber. Or maybe not. Hold on a second. Oh, it's the wood. We need more wood. Okay. That makes sense. So I can use paper in the recycle machine. Can we get a cloth? Nope, it's a torch. Okay. So we'll have to go and chop some trees down tomorrow. Make some money from the tea saplings. 
Maybe plant these summer seeds as well soon. Keep hold of them. Turn those into more summer seeds, and that means more saplings. We should just sleep. We should sleep. Yeah, I want a coop. I want so much stuff, but making money in this one is really tough. Obviously, with the half profit margin. I mean, look at that. Just a thousand. Oh, it sucks. We got something on the recipe channel today. Baked fish. Nice. Ooh. Can you hear the music okay? The song's kicked in, guys. I feel like we need it more louder, but you let me know. I love the summer soundtrack. The farming skill went up too. Let's go. You can't even hear it. Well, that's not good. You can't hear that. Look at the retaining soil. Got a few retaining soil on these, so they are staying watered. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, I thought it might have been. It's got to be louder than this. That might be better. They don't play, like, all the way throughout the day. I think it's quite random. So it'll stop, and then it'll go quiet for a while, and then it'll come on again. Oh, it's Flubber glitched out on the skeleton. He's not moving. I don't want it to kill him. Yeah, he was. He was glitched. Come on, Flubber. Stay away. Oh yeah, there we go, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. He was stuck in the corner of it. Lendl, with the one gifted, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that, that's really kind of you. Thank you so much for the support. And to the person who got gifted that, welcome to the family. I was going to do kind of like a, a, a member fun today. Some member goals to spice things up a little bit. You guys have some fun. Basically, if you don't know what, we did one last time. If we reach a certain amount of members, there'll be like forfeits or challenges that I have to do in the game. Which may jeopardise me and it kind of makes it even harder for me. I think it's quite funny for you guys to see. But because it's not a 12 hours, I didn't want to do that today. Alyssa with another one gifted. Thank you so much. And the daily grind. You have received that. Welcome, welcome. Very kind of you guys. Thank you so much. To all of you guys who are members, you actually are going to get some benefits from it now. Now that I'm streaming every Friday, I think that's going to be good for the people who are members. You're going to get quite a lot of it. A lot of benefits. It's going to be fun. It's exciting to tune in every Saturday with you guys. And next Saturday, mark your calendars. We're doing a 12-hour stream. And we will do a member fun as well, where we can have some fun whilst doing the 12 hours. It's a long time, you know. We've got to do something. We don't want it to be boring. Suggest you adjust the sound in the way so you won't have to force your voice. Yeah, my voice is probably quiet today. But all the sound's been messed up. I don't know what's happened, so I've reset everything. So I'm not quite sure how the sounds are for you guys. Yeah, yeah, my voice is a bit off because I've got COVID, guys. I'm sorry. I, I kind of lost my voice this morning and yesterday. I couldn't speak at all. It's slowly coming back, but it just doesn't sound very nice. But at least I can speak. It's better than not speaking at all, right? Yeah, we had mic problems too. That's because I changed all the audio settings. It was crazy. Right, we've got plenty of wood coming in. We can make some tea saplings. 
Oh, we're gonna make some money. This is what we need. This is what we need. We need the money, money, money. But again, we've got no stamina. Hmm. An ongoing issue. Money and stamina. Um, okay, let's see how much we can make now. So let's take the spring seeds. We will take the wood and the fiber. Is that 30 something? 34 and we need even more wood. Okay, well I'm going to eat these horseradish and we're going to go even more. But look at this, 34 tea saplings give us 8,500. Now this would be double that because the profit margin has been halved. So usually sell for 500, heat, 500 each. But yeah, for us it's 250, so it's not great. But still, that's a lot of money for us. That's a lot of money. Eight and a half K, oh my God. That's so good. Save one just in case, just in case. Let's get some more wood. Just until we've run out of seeds. Do, 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 do. Take, take this one, it's in the way. What's your favourite thing to put in the pot on the Luau Festival? It's got to be a gold quality super cucumber. Hey, that'll give you some points right there. Or a gold strawberry. God, we need even more wood. 49 though. 49. Oh my god, 12k. This is incredible. Right, it's, do you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go to the saloon and pick up some food. I might get some salad. What does hard mode mean? Sorry if it sounds silly or dumb question. Basically, it's you can make Stardew Valley that little extra difficult, which is essentially the hard mode. So if you reduce the profit margin to 50%, like we have, you can use the hardest farm in the game, which in my opinion is the hilltop because of the space. You can have monsters spawn on the farm at night time. You can remix all of the bundles, so it's quite challenging because you don't know which bundles you're going to get. And just little things like that really. It's, it just makes it that little bit harder, especially for making money. It's so hard. Uh... So Friday for 240. 113 energy. 75. Yes. Got to be. It's got to be the salads. But look how expensive they are though. But look how much energy. Um I think we'll pick up. We'll go with four and a bread. So we're going to stay in the 2k mark. We've got a lot of money coming in from the tea saplings anyway. So at least we can continue chopping wood. Perfect stream for being sick in bed. Oh, well, I'm sick as well. We could be sick together. Ooh, no, no, no. Let's not sit down.
do, do, do. Check the trash cans. I don't think we have today. But it's not a bad shout. We could find something good, especially food. Let's go and check outside of Gus's. Oh, we got, oh my god, we just got bread. Just as I said it. Cozy Gamer, welcome to the family. Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Surely you're better than me. That's that's not a, a hard thing right now. Yeah, look how good the bread looks in this game with the uh, the mod that I've got. The bread looks amazing. There's nightmare mode. Nightmare mode, which is send 5% profit margin, monster spawn farm, beach farm, and remix bundles. Yeah. But we've got another bread. Let's go. So hard mode essentially is just reducing that profit margin so you don't make as much money. And then you have things like the remix bundles, monster spawning on the farm, and having a difficult farm layout to play on. Like, the hilltop here is not very good for space. You're far away from water source. Yeah, it's, it's tough. That's essentially hard mode in Stardew Valley. Other than that, it's quite an easy game, right? I just wanted a bit more challenge, you know? Especially when it comes to making money. I feel like... I'm at a point in Stardew Valley where it's quite easy for me to get lots of money fast because I know the tips and tricks and the ways of making good money. And before you know it, in the end of year one, I've made millions or one to two million. So I wanted it to just be a bit more challenging whilst going for perfection, you know? And this is challenging. I mean, we're in summer and we've only, we've not even earned 30k yet. I would have had nearly 100k by now. Easy. Ooh, level up the foraging. Let's go. Do you think mobile will have multiplayer? No. Mobile is never coming to... Uh, multiplayer is never coming to mobile. I think it's already been confirmed, I'm pretty sure. Yes, Stardew Valley is available for mobile, mobile, yeah. You can get it on Android and on iOS. But this, I don't think there's multiplayer, that's that's the... I think all of the updates are released. 1.5 now is released for mobile, I'm sure. I think. But it's just single player only. I know there was waiting on the 1.5 update for mobile and consoles for quite a while. Right, that is all the stamina we've got. And we've managed to get another 205 pieces of wood. And we can now make another 11 tea saplings. And we've run out of seeds, perfect. 60 tea saplings, guys, for 15k. Oh my god. That's amazing. For hard mode, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money for us. I'm still got 150 wood too. Nice, 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 nice. Um, mobile version, you don't feel like it. It's quite easy on mobile. You can like touch and go. You can literally tap the screen and your person walks there. It is so easy, guys. It is the easiest way to play Stardew Valley. You, you touch, for example, I'm on touch screen right now, okay? 
if I touch this tree here with my finger, your person automatically walks over, picks the axe and starts chopping. It is so simple. It is the most coziest laid back way to play Stardew Valley on the mobile, in my opinion. It's good, it's good. It's good fun. Yeah, the auto tap movement. Yeah, it's a really good feature. You can turn it off if you really want to like play with jo like joystick controls or whatever. If you are like a controller player. Oh my god, we can get quality sprinklers. Let's go. We need those so bad. Ooh, okay. Guys, what should we go with? You guys can choose the skills on this run. I did say that this stream series is going to be more focused on like you guys, I want you to get involved as much as possible. So, who we get married to and things like that. So, let me... I want to see. Shall we do a poll? Let's do a quick poll. Although, I'm... In fact, let me just see what you guys are saying. Let's see what you're saying first. This could be a no-brainer. This could be a no-brainer. Let me kind of get a, a feel for what you guys are saying. Rather than doing a poll, because it takes too long. Okay, a lot of gatherer right now. I think gatherer's winning. Let's keep going. You'll need the wood. That's what I'm saying. Wood's going to be important. Do you know, for the tea saplings. So just think about it, guys, right? The gatherer's good because we need foraged items for tea saplings as well. So going out and getting double of them is good, but that's only a chance... Or we can get a, a complete 25% more wood on trees. Both good for tea saplings, though. Wood's almost free. You get a lot of it, yeah. You could buy wood as well. You can't buy forage goods. That's a great point, John. You know what? Okay, I've seen a lot of gatherer. We'll go with this. You guys have got a good point. I would have gone Forrester there, maybe. But let's spice things up a little bit. Look how much money we got. We can buy wood. That that makes sense. If ever we need it desperately, we can maybe plant a tree farm. We'll get some seeds down. We'll get so much wood. Also, we'll would buy it if we need to. We can change our mind later. Yeah, that's true. Um... You're new to the stream, watch this playthrough. So, a few months ago, we started a brand new save, a brand new farm, which is this one you're seeing right here. And I am going to hunt for one, well, try and go for 100% perfection. This will be my second time doing it. I've only ever done it once on my main Stardew Valley save. But this time, I wanted it to be a challenge. So, I've made it as hard as possible that you, that you can do in Stardew Valley. So, for the people who don't know, we're on 50% profit margin. So it's quite hard to make money. Everything's halved. We are on the hilltop farm, which I have never done a full playthrough on before. And it's one of the worst ones. Oh, we need a poppy. Nice. Uh, monsters spawn on the farm at night time. And also, we have remixed all of the bundles, which I've never done before. So that's essentially it, guys. That's essentially it. It's just a brand new save file, trying to get to 100% perfection. We're still in year one, and it's summer. Summer the 8th. Poppies are good for gifts, so I might keep hold of those. Although, these are quite good money, though. Maybe I'll sell the normal, we'll use the good quality for gifts. You know what, actually? I'm not really focusing too much this year on gifts. I'm just trying to get by, I'm trying to make money. That can come, that can come. So, I think everything should just be sold. Because that's going to give us the best money. We can work on friendships another time, guys. We've got plenty of time for that. Right now, we, we need the dosh. So, we don't. I've kept a, a poppy away. I think we only need one. I don't think we need two. Do, 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 do. It's not going to be fish. Just making sure. I don't want to get rid. Oh, that's the money. So, yeah, there's just one for the chef. I think that's literally all it is. So, 
We've already got the ice cream as well. So we do need two purple mushrooms, I've noticed. We need one for here and one for the exotic foraging. So, let's sell. But guys, we're on 17k. Oh my god, that's so good. Right, let's have a look at quality sprinklers. We need gold. We need to go to the mines. We need to go to the goddamn mines. Um, let's try and craft a few more of these as well. This is going to give us good money, to be honest. We do have some strobes from the spring season. Let's get some strawberry jelly. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Tea leaves. So, we are fully out of wood. Damn. Damn, damn. Guys, what shall we do today? Shall, we've got to water the crops first. So, while I'm doing this, shall we go fishing? Shall we go mining? There's some summer fish we need to hunt for, for the 100% as well. Obviously, shipping all the items, shipping all the fish. Shall we work on going to the mines? The pickaxe, ah, oh. that's a good question, where is the pickaxe? No, it's not, maybe we should upgrade that, that's not a bad idea. We'll go and do that today, we'll go and upgrade the pickaxe, so we can't do the mines, we won't do the mines today. We'll go to the mines as soon as the pickaxe is done, and that's going to help us out massively. That's not a bad shout, we do need to upgrade that. That would help. Blueberries are done in six days. Flubber, yeah, he's still alive. He is still alive. You know what? Actually, before we go and upgrade, I'm going to go and take all the copper from here. Yeah, we, we can't progress further down the mines with just a standard. Is, that just wouldn't make sense. So let's clear this. We've got some wormies. What can we get? Boo, clay. Incredible. So maybe we'll just put in a shift of fishing today. Get the skill up. I want to be level 10. Because we can sell the fish for even more money. Which is going to be so good for us. How is there a monster? Exactly. We have got a, a glitch in the matrix. The first ever time I've seen this, guys. But monsters spawn on the farm at night time. And this slime never disappeared. Woke up in the morning and he's just... He's immortal. So I created a nice little pen for him because he's so special. He is now our friend and we have called him Flubber. In all my time playing Stardew Valley, I have never seen that happen. Can anyone else let me know? Have you ever had a monster on the farm that has never died and just stayed there overnight? Let me know. Because this could be like one in a million, guys. This could be one in a million. I'm going to check the farm cave now. That's a great idea. Never. I wonder how rare that is. I have no idea what happened, but he just, yeah, he wanted to stay. Flubber didn't want to go. Where is the farm cave on this? On this layout, where is it? Wait, hold on, where, where actually is the farm cave? Am I losing my mind? Is, is it up top? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be behind here. Yeah, it makes sense. So we've chose the fruit bats. Oh my God, guys, salmon berries. Yes! We can still donate these to the CC. 
Come on. We completely forgot about them in spring. But the fruit bats have saved us. And we don't have any. I've obviously got rid of them all. So we need 15. That's the only problem. It might take a long time. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. At least we've got some food now as well. Right, I'm going to finish watering and go to Clint's. Let's upgrade our goddamn pickaxe. Hello, doing great. Love you. Oh, I love you too. Thanks, babe. Even though my voice sounds disgusting. Flubber is a big fan. Flubber's amazing. Flubber the green slime that never dies. Absolute legend. We got 20 copper ore from doing that on the uh, the farm quarry. That's really good. Let's wait for these to finish and I'll put another load on before we head out. Tried so hard to make my first spring profitable that now I'm able to get a fully evolved barn with some pigs and greenhouse around summer tent. That's amazing, Julian. Pigs are amazing. Great, great money right there. Just takes a long time to get, you know. Ooh. You gotta grind on them. You gotta grind. Right, we are gonna be doing some fishing. We've got three salads to have. We've still got a bit of bait. Let's go and upgrade this can. You've got 7,000 hours in Stardew Valley. You are joking. That's crazy. I've only got over a thousand. That is unbelievable. How many hours a day did you put in? Hello, Jody. You sexy woman. You do remember reading that baby slimes from wild spawns are persistent, so maybe... I don't think it was a baby though. I think it was fully grown. That's the confusing thing. Ooh, field snack. Let's go. Food, food. Days, weeks, months, daily grind. That is crazy. Well, hats off to you. Hello, Clint. Let's upgrade this, eh, buddy? 2,000. This is a lot of money, but... We need the pickaxe. Thanking you. Do, do, do. What is the hard mode? It's not, it's not really hard mode. It's kind of... Stardew Valley's hard mode. It's the only thing you can do to make it hard without using mods. And that's just the profit margin, basically. It's harder to make money. So everything sells for... Ooh, iron bar. 50% less. And that's, that's about it. That's the hardest thing. We've still got some other things as well, but that's the main hardest thing. Wormies! Right, let's go get this puffer fish and the red mullet and the tuna. We need all three of these quick and we might not be able to get the puffer fish. I'm sure it stops at 4 pm. I see them bubbles too. We need them. We need them. Uh, they've just disappeared. Great. Thank you all so much for over 100 likes. I really appreciate that. And I've not even asked anybody for the like button to be smashed. So you know what? If you haven't already, please, let's hit that like button. Let's get it up to 150, shall we? Oh, 
Oh, I see it jumping up. You guys can do it. Come on. Oh, we're close. We're close. 150. And I'll get naked in Stardew Valley. I will take Smurf Bob Ross's clothes off and he can rock around in his underwear and show off to the ladies. We just got an achievement, by the way. Oh my god, we're three likes away. Bob Ross is going to get naked. He's going to get his blue body out. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm blue. Bob Ross. Start stripping, my friend. Let's see that sexy blue body. Thank you guys for smashing that light goal. There's the mullet. Oh, geode. Right, look. It's... Oh. Yeah, sadly. I forgot in this game. You have to wear a t-shirt. But look, his underwear is rocked. Like, let's go. His red underpants with the blue skin. It's a great combination. Imagine if you could take off the tops. That would be cool. I mean, if you think about it. The NPCs take theirs off on Ginger Island. So why can't we do that? You know, Sam, Alex, they all take their tops off. What is this? What fish is this? This is not a tuna. It's the super cucumber. That's what it is. Oh, it's feisty. This is feisty. Oh, my God. That was insane. That was insane. Only a silver quality as well. It's probably one of the hardest super cucumbers I've ever fought there. Jesus. We still need the tuna. Have we, did we catch it? I don't think we did. I know we got the mullet. You take it off in the spa. That's true. That is true. We do strip off in the spa. This is the tuna, I think. No, it's not. I lied. We got it. Yeah, we did. Oh, nice. So that's good for the collection right there. Look at that. We still need this puffer, though. We still need the puffer. Now, hold on. We need that tuna for the bundle. Uh, what was the other one for summer? The snapper, but it's got to be raining. And where's the tilapia? Why have we not caught the tilapia yet? It's summer fish, right? Go on, guys, bring it up on the wiki. How do we get the tilapia? What time is it? Is it nighttime fish? Cindy, we are on my new save that I started a few months ago. Trying to get 100% perfection all over again. A new journey. But this time I made it a bit harder for myself. We've like put the profit margin down and stuff like that. But yeah, first year we, we're quite fresh. This is only the second part basically. Second episode. Oh! Look at this! Two artifacts! And we need the bone flute. Let's go! I may as well put the top on. It doesn't even change anything. Look at that. Only till 2 p.m. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense, doesn't it? Your name looks like Sturgeon. And that's just reminded me. I need to catch the Sturgeon. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Let's, uh, let, I don't want to be fishing all day long. 
Hi Sharky, happy to catch a weekend live. Such a relaxing vibe. Nice one, Madness. Well, guess what? Every Saturday, I will be streaming. This entire year. Every single Saturday. So, let's get used to it. Let's get used to it. I'll be joining you guys every Saturday. This is going to be our little thing. A bream for the wizard. Yeah, I'll take the 135 gold right now. We need this. Let's get the bream. Is this the pike? Oh, got perfect as well. Let's go. Oh no, uh, let's get rid of them. We don't need the two stone. Madness, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Welcome to the fam. And there we go, look. Every Saturday, that member, that membership is going to get put to good use. Mark my words. I will be running like member only giveaways to like give back to you guys. And also there'll be a few streams, especially next week when we do a 12 hour live stream. I'm going to get some of you guys to come and join me on the farm. If you remember, I'm going to get some cabins and you guys are going to help me on this on this perfection farm. Try and tick off some of the, the list, the, the goals that we've got to do. So if you do fancy playing with me next Saturday on the 12 hour stream, I'm going to get some cabins built. And we'll like rotate every couple of hours or every hour. We'll get somebody else in. So if you want to join me and play Stardew Valley with me and help me out on this farm. Uh, that will be for members only though. Just uh, you know, give back to you guys for all the support. It's only right. That doesn't mean you have to be a member. You can still watch and enjoy. But I've got to give something back to you guys. So you know, there's some of you guys who have been members for years. So it's time for Sharky to pull out, um, what's the saying? Pull his, what's the, what's the saying? Pull your weight, pulling the weight. I don't know. But yeah, every Saturday it's going to be fun, we're going to be doing all sorts. Playing together, getting you guys involved. A proper little community, how about that? That is one of my goals this year. I did not do it enough last year, and that's my bad, guys. We didn't stream enough, we didn't get involved as, as a commun community, you know. Maybe a Sunday here and there, yeah, well, that's it. If it goes well, I am happy to do more. But minimum, guaranteed, there's going to be one every Saturday. Pull out all the stops. Yeah, that makes sense, Lucy. <laughs> oh, that sounds bad. Let's pull out all the stops. Sharky's going crazy. Yeah, I did have a baby here, you're right. It was busy, but I still could have streamed. Still could have streamed. A Joja Cola? Oh, no. You know what? Let's take the, the pants are going. Guys, Bob Ross is staying in his underwear forever. Why not? <laughs> Cindy Lee, you're welcome to the family. I appreciate that membership. Welcome, welcome. It really does mean a lot. Yeah, the Discord as well, Kev. I mean, Discord's a bit of a funny one for me because it, it, it sounds harsh, but I'm not a fan of Discord. Maybe it brings back bad memories. I, I had a rough time with my old server, and it's kind of scarred me. If I'm being honest, running and managing a Discord server scares me doing it all over again just because I did not... Yeah, it, went, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't fun the last time, guys. It, it went nasty. It turned horrible. It got filled with toxic people. They took over it. It was... I had to give it up, basically. It was horrible. It became more of a... Um, so, basically, right? There was people joining the Discord server that weren't there for me. It was kind of like friends of the people. So, friends of friends. So, like, someone was being the Discord server. They would invite all of their friends. 
And before you know it, it got filled with people who was... They didn't, they didn't watch my videos. They didn't even know who I was, probably. And uh, it didn't feel like my community, if that made sense. It kind of just was a place where people would hang out. But the, the chat was toxic, you know. They, were, they weren't my kind of people. And it got to the point where it was super hard to control and manage. It got out of control, basically. Um, and then I decided to basically, like, give up on the um, the Discord. And then, oh god, people turned sour. They didn't like that. True colours were shown, basically. Even moderators and people who I trusted who were my friends, you know. Whew. It was, uh... It was just shocking, actually, to see... These people that you're friends with for years and you can trust just turn toxic and sour like that. Just because it was like a power control thing, you know? I don't know. Yeah, Discord. Oh, they do worry me. I don't like doing it, but I know that it's a nice place for you guys to get together. And and that's why I made a private one. I do have a private Discord, but it's only for people who are members, patrons, you know, like the loyal supporters, because I don't want it to be filled with random people again people who are just there for the mischief you know and that's the only reason why it's private for the loyal supporters that was the only way i could do it really look at all these summer spangles for caroline well she's gonna love them but it's a shame i'm gonna sell them <laughs> i'm not focusing on relationships yet that can come that can come next year that's a next year job we'll save that for next year let's get the money that's what we need right now So we've done the glass shards, they can be sold. We still need to donate that bone flute. Yeah, trying to stop the trolls in Discord is, is one thing. It's really hard, guys. I did have mods, Jennifer, in the last one. I had quite a few moderators. But yeah, they, like I said, they was there for the wrong intentions. I don't know, it was it was a very stressful period in my life. And I said, after that, I was like, I'm never having Discord again. I said, I can't do that. It's, no. It was not very nice. You're not sure if you're in the old one? Uh, the old one's been deleted. I deleted the server. I literally full-on deleted it and made, made the private one. Um, but I think a lot of the people who was toxic and weren't happy with me deleting the server, the ones that was there for the wrong reasons, they kind of like formed a group and made their own. So there probably is still one kicking around. Filled with the people who aren't nice, basically. The the toxic people in my old server got together and made their own. Because like I said, it was a control power thing. They wanted to take over my Discord. You know, it had thousands of people in as well. It was a big Discord server. I had it from the very start. But we'll get there again, we'll get there again, you know, trust the people, we'll get the, the loyal supporters in, we'll build up on the Discord. I'll face the fears. <laughs> I don't know, you think, you know, things like Discord, they can, they can become very toxic, you know, all this online social media thing, it's, um, it's scary as well because I've got kids, and I used to have, like, people somehow find my real Facebook and that's no joke, guys. I was getting messages and friend requests on my private, real Discord, which has got my kids all over it. Um, I don't know how they was finding me from the Discord server, but it was weird. I couldn't risk it. I don't know how people do it. That's what I'm saying. It was strange. But that's, I think that's because there was a few like my mods who was kind of friends as well. And they was probably leaking it or something. I don't know. It was weird. I couldn't... I couldn't... Uh, that's a big risk for me. My real Facebook. 
It's got all my family and friends on there and everything. It was crazy. It was like commenting on my things and everything. I was like, oh my god. How have you even found this? Bear in mind, it's set to private, so like only close people can see it. It was so weird. Yeah, scary, right? I mean, I wouldn't be so bothered if I didn't have kids and, uh, you know, a family of my own. But, you know, you got your address, the way you live. Mmm, it's crazy. I had to shut that down pretty fast. We got our first strawberry jelly, baby. 145. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot for us. That's a lot for us. I'll take it. Do we need to donate one? No, we don't. We have got... Look at that. Dear Smurf Ross. Local paper. We must be doing well. So we're still... One more day on the pickaxe. Okay, so I guess what we could do is go for that sturgeon. It's quite a hard fish. But I think we should go for it. Let's go. few more fish that we can find. All the forage up here that I've not done in a while. Let's get all this as well. Super weird. Stuff like that is why I've been too scared to start streaming. Yeah, and that's the consequences with, uh, you know, streaming, being a YouTuber. Um, you do get weird stuff like this. You know, there is a lot of, you can call them trolls, stalkers. I don't know what you want to call them. But they'll go to the extreme lengths of, like, diving into your life. I don't know the reason why, but... But when you put yourself out there for people, you know, it's you're vulnerable. You are vulnerable. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you, Kate. I hope you do too. I'm currently ill with COVID, but, you know, I'm here with you guys hanging out. We are playing Stardew Valley. What more do I need? What more do I need? We're catching rubbish fish. But we have just leveled up to number nine. Oh, let's go. Level nine fishing. That's incredible. One away. One away from Max. But we're after the sturgeon. Which is here. I can see him in the water. With the visible fish mod. Playing Stardew while watching Stardew. What's better? Exactly. Exactly. Ooh, the chest. Just want to say, guys, we're nearly at 200 likes. 200 likes, and we've had 10... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. 10 new members since we've started streaming today. 10 new members. I really, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Even though we had a rocky start where I could not get the stream to... Well, the audio to work. Third time lucky. But we're here. We got through it. I hope you feel better soon, Sharky. Thank you, Dara. I'm sure I'll be better in a few days. Did I miss the fish? Let's, let's try that again. The sturgeon can be quite a nasty fish to catch as well. 200 likes, we are one away. 200 likes, guys. Where is this sturgeon? Come on. I don't know if it's worth keeping the sturgeon, so we can put it into a fish pond. Should we get some caviar? You know what, it might not be a bad idea. Just get one fish pond filled with sturgeon. If we catch one, we shall keep it. What do you guys think? Or shall we just sell straight for money? And put something else in there. We've got to find the bloody thing first. Oh, the train. Oh, should we go for the train? We're quite close. 
Let's do it. Interesting, your story, uh, your experience. I used to stream and I had someone show up at my house on your doorstep. That, that's crazy, right? How? It's a scary world, guys. We've got to stay safe out here. Can we make the train? Oh, look, it's just here. Let's go. Let's see if we can get any geodes or coal from this. Come on, something. Look at the fiber that we can get as well. Anything? You are joking. Not one thing. Oh wow, that is... I'm actually lost for words. Normally I get something all the time. Everything was closed. Yeah, it was, you're right. That sucks. I'm going to miss out on the sturgeon now as well. Well, that was a very bad train. Wormies! You can tell I've never been up here. Look at the state. Wormies! Nope, nothing. Well, that was absolutely rubbish. Yeah, we should have got some coffee. We do have a coffee seed. I think we've got one planted on the farm. I'm sure we do. Um, yeah, the sturgeon's gone, right? Uh, yeah, I think it has. No, it hasn't. Oh, he's still here. Let's go. Can someone confirm the max time we can get a sturgeon? I want to say 7 p.m. But just let me know. Get rid of that carp. Come on, try again. Yeah, we're on 50% profit margin. I don't want to go to 25 because that is painful. It would be there. I don't know. It would be so long. We won't even make any money. It makes the game boring. Seven. Uh, so is this the last time? Oh, it's not a sturgeon. No! It's still in the water, but I think it's it's not going to be caught. Well, I probably shouldn't have gone to the train. That's a waste of time, right? I'll fish until the energy is gone, make a little bit of money, and then we'll head back. The pickaxe is done tomorrow, so maybe we'll go to the mines. Does the midnight carp come in summer? If so, we can stay here till midnight, but I don't know if it does come in summer. Ooh, two fire quartz. If midnight, it might be summer actually. It might be. I know it is on Ginger Island. I don't know about here. Fall and winter, yeah. Fall rings a bell. I think it's summer on Ginger Island, if I'm right. Or maybe all year round, I don't know. That's going to have to wait. I think the only fish we need now for summer is the red snapper. Which is a rain-only fish. We need it to be raining. And the sturgeon. No, we also need the puffer fish. I lied. Puffer fish. Yep. Um... Oh, we've not got the stonefish yet. What level are we in the mines? Have we got to 420? Yeah, we do. 
Ooh. Why don't we have the stonefish, guys? Let's get these two fish in here. Stone and ghost. Let's go. You're not into fishing in this game? Oh, I love fishing in this game. It's the best. It's going to be tough to get 10 million to get the clock. Exactly. And, you know, part of perfection, we need the gold clock. So getting 10 million is going to be rough. Basically, we'd have to make 20 million because it's half. So 20 million in a normal game is what we need. It's going to be so long. Imagine if it was 25%, that would have been horrible. Yeah, some fish are frustrating. Like, the legendaries are rough. The scorpion carp and the octopus are a nightmare. They are stressful. The catfish is rough in the beginning. But it gets really easy after that. Super cucumbers I'm kind of used to now, as, as well as catfish. They get quite easy for me. Once you master the pattern. Yeah, the scorpion fish is just a nightmare. It's just annoying. It's just so rapid. It's like a dog. It goes... The law of eel as well can be a nightmare. Which we've got to try and get. Let's get the stonefish first though. Wherever you may be. We've got to get back soon. We'll have to leave at like 12 max. And we've got no bait. Incredible. We've got to pay a willy a trip. Damn it. The glacier fish, yeah, and the octopus, they're horrible. Oh, look at this bait. Please be it. Is this it? Is this it? It might be. No, it's not. One last chance. No energy, no bait. Yeah, James, the octopus is basically a legendary. Let's just say it is. It bloody acts like one. Oh, this might. This is it. I think this is the. Yes, the stonefish. Just in time. Or is it? Please be. Yay, let's go. We got it. An uncrowned legend, yeah it is. There's a few like that. There's a few that you could almost call legends or legendary. The octopus is definitely up there though. Scorpion carp, I tell you though. That's uh, That's close to legendary. Basically that's the scorpion carp is the, the desert legend, right? Let's just think that each area in the game has got a legendary fish. The desert is definitely that one. Ooh, mixed seeds. Right, so let's just double check. We do we not need any of those those fish? We need the octopus and the scorpion. So look at these three. Oh, they're so hard fish. Blobfish is the easiest out of these, and the larva eel maybe. The the octopus and the scorpion are absolutely horrible. Right, so we definitely we don't need the uh, the stonefish this time. The bundle's been replaced with the uh, the masters. This I've never had this bundle before. This is so cool. Yeah, the scorpion fish fish is basically a legendary, right? It's got to be. I'm dreading trying to catch it. It's going to be horrible. I'm not looking forward to it, guys. Right, what I'm going to do while this um, day ends... Well, I just nearly killed the dog. That's not great, is it? 
Before we start a fresh day, I'm going to go for a toilet break, grab another bottle of water. Oh, level 9. And we're going to pick up the pickaxe and go to the mines, kill some monsters, and try and make our way down. We need to get some... Uh, we need to get some resources. But I'll be back in like two minutes, guys. Let me just grab a few things to keep me going. And we will continue. We are not ending yet. Don't you worry. I just really need the toilet. Uh, yeah, we'll water those as well. Yeah, we'll get we'll get cracked on with this. Mayor Lewis. Oh, tomorrow is the uh, the festival. Do we have anything that we can put in there? Oh, I don't know. Shall we put a gold strawberry? Guys, let me know. What shall we put in the pot? You guys can decide. We've, we've got all this stuff here. And that's it. That's basically it. Or we can go and find something. We can go and find a fish or something. Let me know. Maybe something's going to be ready tomorrow that we could take. I don't know. Alright, two seconds. I need toilet. Toilet, toilet. Right, okay, we are back. And you can't see my game. There we go. We're back. We are back, baby. We are hydrating. On it, you got coffee and a Gatorade. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Okay, let's go. Good morning, Spud. Maybe we should work on some sprinklers. Ready for the fall season to make this a bit easier. Expand this a little bit more, but we should go for the quality. I really want to get to the gold floors. So, we're just going to grind on the, the iron today. Whilst we're making our way down until we get to the gold floors. Refined quartz. I want to check how well are we doing with those. Also, we've have we we've got no wood. Great. We've got five. Let's smell these. Don't, Spud, move out of the way. We've got free coal. Oh no. We've got no coal either. This is this is becoming so hard, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. Right, okay, we've got to definitely go to the mines. We need everything. Full day today. Maybe even tomorrow. 
coal and iron and quartz. That's the first things that we need before we even get gold. Yeah, we'll go hunt hunting for sprites and iron together. Floor 40 is really good for that. You can tick both off the list. Oh, yeah, he's still alive. Good morning, Flubber. Oh, look at this. There's two iron deposits over there. That's quite good. We'll take it. I'm going to keep these blueberries for the jelly. We'll make blueberry jelly for a while. Just to in improve the, the profit. Okay, so that's two more of those. So that's three in total. So we can make three sprinklers just with the quartz. That's not bad. Right, let's put the watering can away and the fishing rod today. We just need the good stuff. Um, we don't even need the axe. I'm going to get rid of that. Maybe we should put tools in there. We'll take the two Joji Cola for a little bit of extra stamina if we need it. Let's put that in there, that in there, and that in there, and that in there. We'll take that. We just need my pickaxe now. Um, any more food? Any more food? We we'll keep. We need this, the salmon berries. And uh, no, let's keep them into the right chest, please. Thank you. Now, we'll take that for food as well because we've already donated one of those. Strawberries we need to keep. Uh, hold off. Yeah. Maybe we could take the spice bread. That's twenty-five energy. We'll eat that now. Uh, Irish Viking. It's been a member for 15 months. I just realized I've been watching you for three years. That is insane. Thank you so much for the support. It's good to have you around all this time. That is insane. Time sure flies, right? It flies by. Three years. And 15 months of a member. That's insane. I'm gonna... 35 energy. Yeah, we'll eat this. And we'll go get the pickaxe. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh. Can't forget the wormies. It's just a lost book. Hey, everyone, relax. False alarm. It wasn't nothing worth digging up, but you know. It was the four that counts. Smurf Bob Ross is just so sexy, especially in this underwear. They all want a piece of him. I can't even check those trash cans because everyone's around. Oh, what a song this is. What a tune! There we go. Copper pickaxe done. That's going to help us a little bit. But as soon as we've got five iron bars, we're going to be upgrading that as well. Pretty sharpish. I wish this was repaired. God damn minecarts. Now we've got to walk all the way up there. Oh, it sucks. A long trek to the mines. Catch a sturgeon for the, mm, We've not got the fishing rod. And the festival's tomorrow. And I really want to go to the mines. I'm like geared out for the mines now. Is a gold strawberry not going to be enough? Is that what you're telling me? A gold quality strawberry. Can, is that... Uh, come on, they've got to be happy with that, surely, guys. Please. I can't give them anything else. We need it. Uh, no, wrong floor. We are on... Oh, we can do the favourite floor. The eye... Yes, we can get a lot of iron from this. And plus, we've got the copper pickaxe. So this is going to be a bit easier. 
And the quartz. Don't forget the quartz. Oh, you want some? You want some? Got him. I love this broken trident, by the way. Such a good early weapon. If you can fish one of these out in your first year, you're going to be having a good time. Such a great weapon. Go strawberries fine. Oh, that's... See that? Okay, we're fine. They've got to understand. We are... We're struggling as a farmer. We can't give them too much stuff. We've not even caught a sturgeon for ourselves. Never mind chucking one in the pot. Who do you think I am? Oh, look at this. Let's go. Dust sprites for the coal. A good amount of iron here. Oh, God. These slimes aren't very uh, easy to kill with the trident, though. Because it, it almost... I think this is a dagger. Yeah, it acts like a dagger. Which I do prefer a sword, if I'm being honest. But this is a great dagger. I love that fast attack. This one, are you ready? I mean, look how good that is. So good. Cave carrots! Food! Food, glorious food! Yeah, swords, you get the knockback as well, the distance. Um, gold strawberry gives good response. <sighs> so what's going to give us the best response? Something that I can actually get my hands on, other than a sturgeon. You've been watching for years, moved to Texas from the UK. Oh my god. Emma, that is, uh, that's a big step. Oh, we level up the mining. Um, love Stardew and Sharky is like a comfort from home. Oh, I love that. Giving you a little bit of that UK. That is wild. You guys have some crazy stories. I find it so interesting. Guys, do you know what I was thinking the other day? I'm going to give you a, a random Sharky thought, right? This is like real life. So, I was just in the, the car with my partner, my fiance, right? And I was just in my own little world. And was on the motorway, so just a long stretch of road, boring, a lot of cars in front of us. And I was just looking at these cars, and I was thinking, like, this I, This was in my own head, I didn't say this out loud. I was like, this, all of these people in front of us right now, they are like living their own life. They play as their main character in their story. But to me, they are just like side characters. They just... They're a side, they're like an NPC in my life, and I'm my main character, right? But to them, they're the main character, and everyone's, I don't know, it's just so weird. It just, it just like came to me, I was like, these, these guys are all living their own, own worlds, like, they, they, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I know, I know, it's a weird thing to think about, right? It's just like, I don't know, it's like, you see all of these people around you, they have no idea who you are. Like, they don't really care about you, right, strangers. Because in their own world, they are living their life and, again, I am just a random person to them, right, like NPCs. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. We're all just doing our own thing, right? And that, that's what it is. We're all just doing our own thing. We're just like pass, passing by. Passerbys? Passerbys. That's what goes on in my brain, guys. I just think of weird stuff. We got a crystal fruit, baby. Passersby. <laughs> that's, that's the word. <laughs> I can't think straight today, my head's foggy. It's all COVID does to you, right? Do you guys never think now what I've just spoke about?
tell me some like strange things that you think about sometimes that like you just can't get your head around. Like, do you ever like look up at the moon or something and like just start thinking of crazy crap? Like what ifs and stuff. How does your brain work, guys? Tell me. No, Topaz. I feel like that's the same train of thought as knowing that we've not introduced ourselves to our pets. Like, they don't know our names. Yeah, you see? Now, that's a good example. I like that. It's so true. They just like living around us, getting fed by us, but they have no idea, right? I was passing by a large field. Could have sworn I saw Star Wars dinosaurs. I mean, hey, you might have done. Who knows? You guys were getting so ex- <laughs> So weird, too weird. <laughs> That's crazy. My brain doesn't work. Fair enough, Steph. Fair enough. What did you just like count sheep in your sleep? How are we doing with coal and iron? Are we doing well? Do you feel like we're getting a lot of stuff here? I don't know. There's not many iron deposits. I'd like more. That's for sure. Give me more! But we needed a sprite. I see quite a few down there. Oh, coal. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is more like it. Come on. I might have to eat something, to be fair. I hate bats. Uh, let's go with the two Jojas. My cat knew me as Neen, my mum as mum, and my sisters. So you're saying your cat recognised your names. Is that what you're telling me? You looked up at the stars the other day and realised that even if aliens are up there, they are seeing the Earth before ex before we existed, possibly even before dinos. That's crazy. That's crazy. And what about, guys, what if there is other planets out there that people are living on, right? And they are looking up in the sky in their universe and they're seeing a moon and stars and planets like us. Do you ever think about that? What if there is more people living on another planet somewhere else? Now that blows my mind. They might look different. Or something like that. Or maybe there's just pure humans out there somewhere. That we don't even know. That they don't know we exist. I don't know. Don't. Guys, you're tripping me out. This is weird. I'm too ill for this. That's, that might be what aliens are. We call them aliens, but maybe they're just other humans living. But because they are unknown, we call them aliens. Maybe we're aliens to somebody else. <laughs> My head hurts, I know. Isn't that crazy, though? We're all just here on planet Earth thinking that we only exist. We are the only humans out here. But we, you have no idea. There, there could be a whole new world out there. And people are just going by their day, doing their thing. Not even knowing. And imagine, like, they have their own solar system. Maybe it's not even called Earth to them. Maybe they live on a planet that's called something else. Guys, mind blown. You watch the documentary about wildlife and how humans make the ways of some animals so much harder and fences, etc. Then I thought, what if we are the aliens? Exactly! Exactly! We are just the aliens! What makes it hard, Mo Claudia? We are on 50% profit margin. 
so making money is extremely difficult. We're on the Hilltop Farm, we've remixed the bundles, monsters spawn at night, um, and that's about it. And usually I would do like member goals where you guys would get me doing crazy stuff to make it even harder. But we're not doing that today because it's not a 12 hour stream. Oh, we need the... We, okay. We need... Oh, maybe I'll keep all of those. We can make some jelly out of those. I'll keep one for donation, donating though. Topaz, should we sell for money? Yeah, I think we should. We need it. We're desperately in need for it. Frozen tears. We don't need Let's get rid. So we come away with 14 coal and 62 iron. We also got 7 quartz. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's get the iron on overnight. Ding, ding. We might pass out if I don't be careful. We don't want that. So we'll keep that way in there. Let's go. Let's go to sleep quickly. We are totally aliens. Have you ever seen Moonfall? I feel like the plot in that could be very well possible. No, I, don't, I never have, actually. Right, guys, got to choose again. Level 5 mining. Shall we go with more ore per vein, which is quite handy? Or shall we make, eventually, our gem sell for more money and we can find more? Pick which one. I'm going more towards miner. We need ore. We want sprinklers. We want kegs. I don't know. It might take a while for us to get the money from gems. So that's more end game. So maybe we can swap to that later on. Oh, everyone's going mining here. Yeah. You got miners very helpful. Yeah, I think it's going to help, right? Let's go more ore. You guys said it. We've made no money. I've already drank that bottle of water, guys. That's how dry my throat is. So, let me see if I've got something else. I've got a little mini fridge, by the way. It was a Christmas present from my partner. A mini fridge is the best thing in the world. It's full of goodies. So, when I'm streaming, especially for the 12 hours... Oh, my God, it's the best ever. So, let me go and see if we've got any drinks in here. Uh, that might do. That might do. Yeah, that was a great present. I also got a Steam Deck. Oh my god, that console. Guys, if you've never had a Steam Deck, never had one, if you've not got one, sorry. I know they're a lot of money, and that's why I never got one, because it's just quite pricey. I've also got the Switch, so I was like, mm, do I really need one? But the Steam Deck is better than a Switch. There, I said it. I said it. I love my Steam Deck, especially if you have got a PC or Steam with a lot of games. Oh my god. Yeah, it's quite pricey, I know, I know. I'm so lucky that I got it as a Christmas gift. But oh my god, guys. They are great. I'm hoping one day you guys can get one because it's a good treat. You have a Steam uh, Steam Deck? Nice, Jennifer. Do you play it much? Do you use it? Now, the only thing with the Steam Deck is there's not... Well, there is a lot of games, but not every single game in my library is, like, compatible. So there's some games that either won't run at all or don't run very well. So, yeah, that's, that's a bummer. Um, the Little Pascal, this stream is not the 12 hours, no. Because I've currently got COVID, so I thought I'd just do a little one today. But next Saturday... Hopefully, cross my fingers, I'm better and my voice comes back. We are doing the 12 hours next week. There's going to be a live, live stream every single Saturday. All the way through this year. This was meant to be a 12 hour stream today. But yeah, COVID decided to punch me in the face and scratch my throat. So we're just going with a casual stream today. Probably a couple How, how long have we been going? We've been going for two hours, right? So, we could probably go for another one, two hours. I'm still going strong. <laughs> I 
you want a steam deck so bad yeah they're great I hate saying that I've got one because I know there's a lot of people who like you said who can't afford them and I was the same I've only just got one. Oh, it's the festival gold strawberry like I said, it was, I was lucky enough to have it as a gift, and it was a surprise. I never expected to get one, so I was like, oh my god, you're joking. A mini fridge and a Steam Deck. Come on, guys. That's like the best, right? Yeah, Traveler's Rest is so good on Steam Deck. So is Kinseed as well. Really, really good. Right, let's, um, let's put away the watering can. I want to go back to the mines, but it's the festival first. And that's going to... That's literally the best thing we've got, is the gold strawberry. It's There's nothing else we can do. So that's what we're doing. Wormies. Right, as the festival started, it's going to it's going to waste a full day for us, sadly. But look, it is raining tomorrow. Yes, I don't have to water. I can go straight to the mines. Okay. So, I don't really think we need to speak to everybody, do we? Like, who are you thinking we marry, guys? Who are we thinking of marrying? I actually have no idea. I don't know. Uh, I kind of want it to be someone that I've never married before. Just, you know, going down a different path. Like, I've already done Leah. She was the first ever one I married. She still is my wife on my main, my main farm. So, I don't want to worry about Ma um, Leah, sorry. Maru's a good shout. I've never married Maru. I've done Abigail and I've done Leah. And, not going to spoil too much, but I'm in the process of marrying Emily. So, other than that, should we have Krobus as a... Krobus could be a good shout, as a, a, like a roommate, that's not bad. Uh, Maru could be a good shout, or Haley. Maru, Haley, or Penny, maybe. Right, okay. Right, gold strawberry added. You married Emily, like her a lot. Okay. Your second Crobus, yeah. Don't care for Haley. Hmm. <laughs> I've done in this context, yeah. I've done Leah. Been there, done that. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that. We have, we've married Leah. We've not done Leah. But we have, because we got some kids out of her. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Been there and done that literally. Huh? Twice. I've got two kids. She couldn't get enough, guys. She could not get enough. Leah. She was just all over me like a rash. She's like, you make great babies, let's have another. Right, chill out, Leah. Calm down, relax. 
Okay, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Yay! That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take it. Gold strawberry for the win. We got some good friendships there with people. Or some good friendship points. Are you guys excited for the new festival that is coming to Stardew Valley 1.6? If you don't know, it's going to be a New Year's festival, New Year's Eve. So basically the last day, 28th of winter, we are going to get a festival which celebrates the new year. There'll be fireworks and things like that. Kind of, we, we expected it. I kind of had a feeling. But guys, it's going to be great. The update's going to be dropping this year. We just don't have official date. I, I'm calling out for... So my theory is it's going to release... Is it Feb 26th? Which is the anniversary. That's when Stardew Valley got released, guys. And I think it's the 8th year anniversary. So imagine. 1.6, Feb 26th. It makes sense. Come on. It has to. But either way, it's going to be coming this year because it's, it's, um, it's almost done. The update is basically finished. I think they're polishing it up, testing it, but also he's working on Haunted Chocolatier, so we can't spend too long on a Stardew Valley update. I thought it was going to come last year, like winter time, but it never did. Your birthday is Feb 8th. Perfect. You can't wait for the 1.6 playthrough? Yep, exactly, guys. We are going to be doing a, a brand new 1.6 playthrough, which is going to be using the new farm layout, because we do get a new farm layout, which is incredible. And then showing off on playing through all the new content. Now, that's also going to be kind of like um, a perfection series. But we'll not stop doing this one, because this is hard mode. So this is even harder to do, so... But think about it, all the 1.6 content is going to be available on here. So there's going to be new things in the collection to go for, maybe some new fish, some new achievements, we don't know. So we've still got some of the 1.6 stuff to do on this playthrough. Right, we have got to keep hold of a tomato. We've already done the hot peppers, so let's keep this here. Tomato! The rest can be just sold. We've got two more refined quartz. Nice. Ready for the sprinklers. That's five in total. We're running low on coal again, though. We need to get some more, guys. So to the mines we go. On a full day. Oh, let's go. You want Haunted Chocolatier more? I mean, both are at the top of the list. Okay, that's a question then. Are you more excited for 1.6 update for Stardew Valley? Or are you more excited for Haunted Chocolatier, a new game? You have to choose. Obviously, you might be excited for both. But which one are you most looking forward to? I know people are going to say both. But let's be honest. Surely there's one that's a little bit more exciting to you. You can't choose. <laughs> it, that is quite tough, actually. That's a hard one. Um, I mean, I should answer this too. <sighs> That's tough. I mean, let's kind of wait up. For me, you know, 1.6 is so exciting because it gives us new content for my favorite game. It's good for YouTube as well. It's good for me. I can create content to show off to you guys. It keeps you know, the channel going. It gives us more stuff to do in Stardew Valley. Keeps the game alive. Keeping it fresh. But also Haunted Chocolatier could be basically the next Stardew Valley. I think I'm more looking forward to Haunted Chocolatier. But that's just because it's new and I don't know what to expect. You know, I'm kind of like, like, how is it going to be? What's it going to be like? 
It's the mist, like the mysterious feeling of what haunted chocolate is going to be like. And let's be honest, we kind of know what 1.6 is going to be like. We've had it before. We know what the update is going to be. We've kind of seen sneak peeks. But Haunted Chocolatier is going to be a complete new journey. And it's all new to ex... And that's the thing, right? It's going to be like the first time playing Stardew Valley all over again. Which was one of the best times of my life. I always wish I could go back to that day. Playing Stardew Valley for the first time and learning everything new for the first time. We're going to get that with Haunted Chocolatier. Everything's going to be new. Like, we're like, oh my god, like, look at this. We can do this, we can do that. Oh my god. And that's what I'm excited for. Having that brand new feeling. Yeah, god, to play Stardew Valley for the first... Honestly, I dream about that sometimes. I'll be honest. And you know what? Sometimes I see comments or on stream or on a video where people say, oh... Sharky, I've just played Stardew Valley for the first time, watching some of your videos to help me. And I just think, wow. Like, wow. To be you right now, I know what they're going through. I know what they're experiencing. That feeling of, ooh, a wood mallet. What a weapon, by the way. What a weapon. But yeah, back on the topic. I just, I feel like... What's the what's the word, guys? Is it? It's not envy. What is it when you wish to to live that moment they're doing? I don't, it's not envy, is it? I don't know. But I would love to go back to my very first day of playing this game. I was up all night. What's hard mode? It's not. It's just basically just hard settings in Stardew Valley, Audrey. Just reducing the profit margin and things like that. Making it a bit more challenging. It's technically the hard mode in the game because that's all you could really do to make it hard. Nostalgia? Yeah. We're in year one. We're quite fresh. This is only the second part to, to this save. Trying to get 100% perfection with the hard settings. Currently just farming for iron and coal. We need dust sprites. And then we're going to work our way down to the gold floors. I think we're quite close. There's dust sprites, baby. Let's get them. Let's try the mallet. Boosh! Great weapon. It's good for when you bunch a lot of enemies up together. And then you can use that special move. Look at this stuff here. We've got... Topaz, copper and iron. Why break the crystals? What do you get from them? I don't think you get anything from them. I have never in my life got anything from a crystal. The only thing I've seen is like a frog. Sometimes a frog will jump out of them, I'm sure. They drop refi- Don't lie to me. Are you telling me we can get refined quartz from them? There's no way. If I find one, guys. You get- I think you're lying to me. There's no way. I have never in my life got a quartz from one of those. It must be rare. Surely. You haven't me on. You got one yesterday? What? Why have I never found one? That's it now, guys. You've, you've started something. 
I feel like you're having me on. You know I'm going to be breaking every single one now. You've never had one as well? There's a few people who never have. It can't be true. If it is, it's super rare. Quite hard to use this wooden mallet, it's so slow. So slow. Got him. You've had a thousand hours and only seen it once or twice. Yeah, that's rare as hell then. I have never seen that. Coffee bean! That's it guys, we're doing a new series on the channel. How long does it take to find a refined quartz from the crystals? Is it even possible? get free refined quartz if you put one fire quartz. That's not true. I've tried that before. I'm sure you guys told me that on stream before that you could put oh refined quartz, not normal quartz. Free refined quartz to fire. I swear we tested that. Do you like the festivals? I don't mind them. They get boring and repetitive after a while. Guys, look at all this. If we don't find one with all these crystals, we're never finding one. Told you. It's a load of bullcrap. You must have got it dropped from somewhere else and just thought it was the crystal, when really it was just a monster or something. Oh, it's not even worth getting that topaz down. Um, is it? No copper. I'm not getting that. That's way too much of my time. Give me the iron. I think we might possibly have enough iron now. So I think what we should do is focus on getting down to ooh, the gold floors from now on. I think we've got enough iron to last us for a while, so even, we've even got quite a few quarts too. So yeah, tomorrow I might pop down, look at all this iron, and we're going to go for the deep floors, getting that gold. Look at all these crystals here. You guys, what have you done to me now? I just want to go for the crystals. Ooh, combat level, let's go. What have you done to me? It's just not happening. I'll be searching hours, right? We'll make, we might leave that alone. We'll leave that alone. Oh, no. Give me the... Quick, give me the special. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Go on, give me another one. Ready? Oh. 
Very satisfying. Very satisfying. Whacking them all together like that. Let's clump them up. Boosh! Sharky the cr uh, Sharky the Crystal Smasher. I'm addicted now. It's like I just want to see one. I want to to prove that it's actually real and it exists, and it's not made up by you guys. Uh, right, we are str maybe we need to upgrade our backpack here. This is not good. Seventy-five iron ore. Wow. The frozen tier only sells for thirty-seven. The bat wings are worth more. Set 16 stone we might need in the long run. The sap. Shall we get rid of the sap? I know we can turn it into fertilizer though. But it doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of the sap. We got a double quartz here. Let's go. Double quartz. We actually find quite a lot of this. We've got nine, and we found, I think, nine yesterday as well. That's really good. That's a lot of refined quartz. Yeah, this wooden mallet is just not as good as the trident. It's not happening. Ooh, dwarf scroll. I don't know if we've got that one. Um, yes, we do. We got the green one. Right, we've got to get out of here. Google said it was extremely rare to get one. Hmm. I'd love to know the actual chance of it, though. Never watched you live. It's wonderful playing Power World, which I'm surprised how much I like it. Sarah, a lot of people are saying that because it sounds like such a weird concept, Power World, like a uh, Pokemon with guns. But the amount of people who actually enjoy it is oh, we've got a chest here. Is uh, pretty crazy. I'm gonna store those cave carrots for food up here. It's gonna help us out a bit. Um, those spice berries too. Not doing too bad here though. 5,000 hours, according to Steam, I've gotten two living hats, but no garbage hats. Oh! Now that's interesting, Connie, because... Another little spoiler, I'm not going to give too much, though. There is a challenge with me and Pox in the third season, the competitive multiplayer, where it, it includes the hats, alright? Now, something happens with one of those that you've mentioned, and you're going to see, because I know how rare they are as well. They're super hard to get. And, um, yeah, it's quite fun going for them. Let's get the iron. How much coal have we got in total? 24, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. So we've got 7 refined quartz. We've got 15 iron bar. We're not doing too bad, you know. We're not doing too bad. This coffee bean, we should plant. Just to get some, we've got a coffee bean here that's ready tomorrow. The ancient fruit as well. We've got a star fruit, lots of crops here. We should maybe get some more seeds down here tomorrow. Because we're halfway through summer, basically. You've gotten both before. I think the living hat is the harder one to get. That's like a 0.01%. It is super hard to get. We just got an achievement because I heard a noise. I heard something anyway. Yeah, we got... Oh, we got 50k! 50k, baby! Let's go! Is this another rainy day? Two rainy days back to back. So I think, guys, we might play through this last day. I might do this last day here before we wrap this stream up, but there'll be another one next Saturday, don't worry. And that's going to be possibly 12 hours if I'm feeling better. So I'm quite excited for that. 
So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go to the mines again, but I'm going to try and progress down to the gold floors, because we need gold really bad. So that's what we're going to try and do. That's what we're going to try and do. Three grapes. We've got one, two of those. We can make some summer seeds. Now, we do also have 29... No, that's melons. Why are we not planting those? What the hell? We maybe should be. Um, we can't plant many though. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Okay, um, that's that. We need... Is there any more gaps that we could do? I think that's everything there. We need a sprinkler here. Coffee! And then what we'll do is we'll probably plant more of these two. To give us even more in return. Because the planting spring and summer. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we might get a few out of that. Okay, that's looking good. So, yeah, we've got a lot of seeds. But no space, though. This farm layout sucks. It really does. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Let's go back to the mines and try and get down. I'd love to get down 10, maybe 15 levels. That should put us onto the gold soon. A lot of you guys have got the living hat. I know the garbage hat's less rare, but it's still quite rare though. But that living hat is very, very rare. 0.01% and a lot of you guys seem to be getting it, which is awesome. Right, we've got a little bit of food. So we're currently on floor 55. We've still got some work to do. We've still got some work to do. So let's try. 65 would be nice. 70 even better. Oh, we've got to dig for the goddamn... Or the, break the rocks. Let's kill little slime. Hopefully he drops it. Nope. We've got to find it. It is... It's a decent day. He's not the best. Uh, maybe we should have upgraded the pickaxe one more time. Before doing this. Definitely we'll do that before we get to gold. But we'll try and get down with the one we've got. Look at those dust sprites over there. Let's get them. Take that slime. I saw his eyes go red. But he didn't stand a chance against Smurf Bob Ross. So if you don't know why my character looks like this. For the people who don't know. Basically, Pox. Poxiel, the other Stardew Valley YouTuber who I do a series with. He did a 24 hour live stream. Very long time. I could never do that. But basically I joined him. I think I played for 3 or 4 hours. If you've not seen that, go over to his channel. In fact, I think he's releasing it in the next couple of days. The big whole like 24 hour stream. And yeah, you'd watch me play with him for four hours. And this is the character that I randomized. I created a character. I was trying to rush. I pressed the randomize button. And this is what it looked like. And straight away, I was like, oh my god. My person looks like a, a Smurf Bob Ross. And it stuck. The character of Smurf Bob Ross was created. And I have copied and pasted him into this series because I just love him so much. He's the best. So yeah, make sure you t stay to like watch that 24 hour stream. It was awesome. Pox was doing it for charity. So I think they raised 
Was it like $2,000 or something like that? It was really good. Ooh. Ooh. Super fun. He was putting it up this year and last year's stream. Yes, he is. He's doing the last 24-hour stream too. He's putting it back up for you guys to watch. It's because when you stream to YouTube, they only archive 12 hours max. In fact, I think it's like 11 hours and 50. Anything after that, they uh, it just deletes, basically. Unless you stop the stream and restart it and then do another 12 hours, which you could have done. And then that way you did not have to record 24-hour footage, render 24-hour footage, upload 24-hour footage. Apparently it's taking him weeks to just do all of that. It's such a, a massive file. 24 hours, eh? That's a long time. My old bones could not do that. 12 hours is enough for me. But maybe one day, we shall tackle the 12 hours. What do you guys think? That would be rough. But we'll do it for charity. I think that'd be cool. I'd give it a go, at least. I hate these floors. The windy ones. We need to find the ladder right now. Please. The worst floors in the game. Go on, drop me a ladder. Drop me a ladder. Somebody! Oh my god. Well, we're not going to get down as far as I thought we would. Oh yes! Should we take out this slime? I think you get some good XP for this. He's a nasty boy. Oh, oh no, this is not good. Look at the colour of him. Yes! Oh! Thermal boots, let's go! Hmm, they're not as good. The combat boots are better. Cool drop, though. Cool drop. There we go! We have got to level 60. That's really good. The cutlass is not a bad weapon. Not a bad weapon. Bear in mind, the reason we've got this is because the rewards in the mines, the chests have been randomized as well, remixed. So that's why they're different, but it's still not as good as the trident. 15 to 26, 9 to 17. It's fast though, very fast. Sorry about that, guys. Just coughing. Coughing away. Don't want you guys to hear that. So, yeah, it's a fast sword, but it's just not very powerful. Test it on the slime. I do love the block on the sword as well, though. It can come quite handy. Yeah, it's definitely not as good. Ooh! Oh, now, hold on! Hold on guys, see this is why I think you guys are getting confused. Did the monster drop the refined quartz? Or did the glass crystal that we broke? We need a recap. We need a clip. But what was it from? Because we slayed the monster at the same time. Corona's that bad, yeah, it's horrible. The crystal, but was it though? You guys might be thinking it's the crystal, but it could have been the monster drops. That's impossible to tell. We need to go back in slow motion and see, like, where it dropped from. Both can drop it. 
Oh, that's so tough, guys. That was a hard one. Let's just say it was the crystal. We did it! We completed it! Whee! <laughs> oh, I can't even laugh. There's times that I want to laugh, but it really hurts my throat, and also it makes me cough. So I'm really, I'm trying not to laugh. That's that's a weird thing, right? I know. As soon as I laugh, it just, I cough instantly. Like the tickle, the cough, the tick. No, that's not. The tickly cough, that's it. It just appears when I, when I laugh. This trident is amazing with the bats. When you use that special, it kills them instantly. We're gonna need to eat. We're gonna need to eat quickly. We don't want to get trapped in the corner. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. That was rough. <laughs> you would do your best not to be funny. Thank you, Fudy. I, I appreciate that. That helps a lot. No, don't give me a reason to laugh. And we'll be fine. Oh, look at this floor. Oh, no. Um, let's just take our time. Let's lure the monsters away. We've got a horrible slime here. The gold stars. They're quite tough. They're quite tough. Oh, another wooden mallet. Nice drop. Nice drop. Okay, we took care of those little buggers. I want to get to 65. Got a Jade. Nice to meet you, Jade. My name's Sharky. That was a rubbish joke. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. And we got a ladder. I think the, the uh, dust sprite just created that. I think it broke a rock. We definitely do not need iron ore for a long time. Oh, one more floor to go with the time that we've got. And it's one of these floors. There's a lot to break. I don't know if we're going to do this. I want all those crates as well. Oh, we got the ladder, baby. Let's go. Oh, look at all the iron. Oh my god. I'm going to kill this slime because he'll creep up behind me. We definitely don't need any mine, uh, iron ore. This is insane. We've got hundreds. Lendl, with the one gifted. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Snooch, welcome to the family. I hope you appreciate that. Give some love to Lendl. Legend. Well, that was actually a rubbish look there in the crates. Shocking. Right, we've got to 65. That is 10 levels. We are closer and closer. Is it level 80? We need to get to level 80 to get to gold. Oh, We're getting there. I might upgrade the pickaxe one more time to iron to speed things up a little bit. There's no point even trying to get down five more. It's just not going to happen. Your name is Green. Look how awesome you look. Very, very generous of you to give away or to gift a member. The RNG has been most kind to us. Mmm. It has indeed. You look good in green. Yeah, but Nicole, do you look better in blue as a moderator? Blue or green? The mod squad. Or the shark army. Bring it, I approve. <laughs> You will be green someday. Melanie, one day someone's going to gift it to you, alright? 
That day will be amazing. 205 iron ore, by the way. Oh, wow. That is wild, right? So, let's just do... Right, so if we do two more... Quartz refined. That's ten in total, I believe we've got. So we've got eight here. We're going to have two more. That's going to be a total of ten. That's ten sprinklers. Quality. Guaranteed with the iron as well. We just need that gold. We just need the gold. We've got five ore. We can make one bar. Oh, let's go. We can't do it today. That's guaranteed one sprinkler. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to put away the cutlass and the mud, uh, wood mallet. Uh, ghost fish that we can sell. We've got two. Oh, we've got 19 iron. Let's go. A lot of coal, uh, coal as well. Let's try a look with another cloth. Nope, it's a torch. We'll put some around. We'll, we'll get it a bit bright around here. Let's get it bright. Shine bright like a torch. Sell all this. Make a little bit more money today. It's not a lot, but it is better than nothing. Oh my god, Shane gave us a pizza? What a legend! 150 energy. Oh my guy. That's why you be friends with the people. Oh, I could eat a pizza right now. I've not eaten all day. Maybe I should have a pizza. That's a great shout. The shark butt is the cutest thing I've seen today. Yeah, look at them shark booties. Booty shark da doot da doot do. That is one of the best emotes ever. And the cozy one as well, wrapped up in the blanket. Cozy shark. Love it. Torches can go on the fences. Yeah, they can. That's a good point. Maybe I should have done that. But guys, I think that is where I'm going to end it. Three hours streaming, half past eight. It's 8.30 p.m. for me. I'm going to have to rest this voice before it fully goes. It's starting to be a bit painful now. I would love to go for another one hour. But I just don't think I've got it in me. I'm going to get some food, get rested up. And next week on Saturday, hopefully my voice sounds back to normal. And we can do a 12-hour stream. That's going to be insane. It's going to be fun. We're going to be doing a member fun as well. So we'll have member goals that we have to reach. It's going to change the way we're playing this uh, save. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a laugh. Can't wait, guys. I've got some surprises as well. And some giveaways to run during that 12-hour stream. So stick around. But thank you all for joining me today. It was a little bit of a rough start. I apologize for the uh, audio problems and the delay on the stream. And also for sounding ill. But at least we got through it. Thank you for all of the new members. For all of the people who have subscribed. And smashed that like button. I really do appreciate you all. And I'll see you next Saturday guys. The live stream squad. Let's go. I'll see you then. Take it easy. And stay cozy. <laughs>